water about 100 yards. They have eyelids that can blink top and bottom, just like us. See his extra one? Goggles. See it? Goggles. It protects their eyes. They can see underwater with those goggles. If something bites them in the head, the eyes are going to sink right inside the skull. Well protected, built to last. Small brain, big mouth, bad combination. <laughs> yeah, they're super smart. They're just not here to figure out math problems, you know. Top of the food chain is here to balance nature. They eat, sleep, and make babies. That's it. The teeth are small. There's 80 of them. The tongue. <laughs> that is, that's so they don't bite it off. But they lose their teeth quite a bit. They, they, they lose one and it grows back. They lose one and it grows back again. They can replace every tooth about 50 times. Can you see the teeth there? <laughs> <laughs> when he closes his mouth, you'll notice it's the top teeth that are visible. There's a bit of an overbite on the alligator. It's also got a big smile. You see the smile? Oh, the smile right there. <laughs> In the 1960s, hunted almost to extinction, less than 60,000. Today in the wild, there's about 4 million. They're everywhere. The Everglades is loaded with alligators. It's also a very unique ecosystem that's home to both alligators and crocodiles. We're the only place on the planet both are native. Tessie, crocodile, yes, very different. These guys look different, act different, capabilities are different, environments are different, yet they're best friends. So they grew up together, they still live in my backyard together. Everywhere I go with them, they go together. Education, I take them to schools, libraries, and I bring them here. The more we learn, the more we care. Now, crocodiles are tropical. The thing is, is that South Florida is subtropical. Now, these guys are still native here. They're native because of Florida Bay. That river that runs off into salt water is perfect environment for saltwater crocodiles. Key Largo, Biscayne Bay, Flamingo, and Everglades City. The American crocodile lives here, and it's a big one, one of the biggest in the world. There's only like 2,000. It's unfortunate. Yeah, they like to live on quiet beaches here. Quiet ones. Are there any quiet beaches? Using logic, bud. There's no quiet beaches here anymore. Habitat destruction. We have more endangered species in Florida than anybody in the continental U.S. All you kids that are going to run the world one day, remember, you got to save the planet. you got to take care of the environment first, first and foremost. If you look at the alligator, they've got a round nose. Crocodiles is pointy. Alligator has small teeth. Crocodiles got much bigger teeth. Alligator looks happy, crocodile looks scary. <laughs> Sometimes what you see is what you get, that's for sure. The colors are different, the environments are different. They gotta blend in. Animals look like where they live, they're built for what they eat. We got crocodiles on this planet, all they eat is fish and birds. Then we got some that eat water buffalo and sharks. The biggest difference between the alligators and the crocodiles is what you wanna remember. I mean, alligators are very dangerous. Crocodiles are much more dangerous. <laughs> it's like night and day comparison. Bigger, stronger, and smarter. Maybe she'll show us. The game changer. See the pores in her tongue right there? That allows her to take salt out of her mouth. Alligators are salt sensitive. Crocodiles aren't. All crocodiles have salt glands. Alligators and caiman don't. The thing is, is that alligators do hunt in salt water. It's been well documented that the alligator will go from the southern Everglades into Florida Bay to hunt. Ambushing fish, small sharks, things like that. They'll last two days in salt water. I mean, you guys last two days in salt water also. But they come back into fresh water, they'll flush that salt out of their system. Crocodiles don't need to go through all that. They can just excrete salt. They can spend as much time as they want in salt water. Two of them are called saltwater crocodiles. Again, if you're going to spend your time in salt water, you probably want to be size appropriate. Saltwater crocodiles get big. They still drink fresh water. I mean, I don't care what you call them. I've had salties 30 years. I've never had a saltwater tank in my life. The range is Tropic of Cancer to Capricorn for a saltwater crocodile. Usually where a river and a saltwater meet, that's where you're going to find them. Florida Bay to Peru, Jamaica, Mexico, Costa Rica, Venezuela, Colombia. Same species, my friend. It's not swimming to Peru, though. Bloodlines are different. Here they're big. Central America, they get much bigger. You can find them like 18, 19 feet. Africa's got the second biggest, the Nile. East and west, big crocodiles. South Africa, 20 footers. That's about 100 pounds. Big crocs weigh 2,000. This is not 100 years ago. This is out there today, right there. 
The Indo-Pacific is the biggest species in the world. Northern Australia's got like 200,000 of them now. Remember the movie Crocodile Dundee when he got in trouble for poaching crocodiles that were endangered? Now they're just an abundance of them. They're everywhere. They farm them there, just like they farm them here. This brings numbers back in the wild. If you get into Southeast Asia, it's not even fun. Those things get really big. That's where the biggest bloodlines are, 2,000 pound crocodile. If he sat here, he would take that space. It seems excessive, right? If you sit face to face with a water buffalo, you know why this is that big. They eat big salty animals. Five crocodiles hunt big salty animals. <laughs> Watch where you swim. Puppy dog right there. If that was a crocodile, I'm not talking to you like this. Know your limitations, you know what I mean? Dangerous as that is, it's not like crocodiles. There's big crocodiles in the ocean right now. It's crazy to think. If I told you 20 years ago there's crocodiles in the ocean, you might not believe it. Now you can watch it. Everybody's got a drone. Crazy stuff happening out there. It's been happening for millions of years. We get to witness it. Crocs and sharks will use each other to get food. The biggest adversary as far as animals are concerned,